I made a little Anglo-Saxon village church. There's a tutorial linked in the description below. But this church, like many others, has a secret. Down below, there's a crypt. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this crypt. Let's get on with it. We're going to begin the crypt by digging it out. So come into the tower and in this back left hand corner, that's if you've got your back to the door, we're going to dig down five. Now in the interests of the Minecraft rule of don't dig directly under your feet, I'm going to dig out two at a time. So it's this corner we're digging, this one's just coming out as a sort of help so we don't plummet to our doom. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And now fill back in, um, top one is stone brick. You want to put a stone brick slab under there and you can either fill this with stone brick or with plain stone, but we just come down two, So that's filled in. Now we put a trap door at the top and a ladder there and any dirt on the back wall and the side wall replace with stone and ladders. So we've got our space here which at the moment is two blocks long, one block wide and three blocks high. We're going to increase it so that it is three by three. Dig out two more in front one more to the left and clear out the remaining four spaces and we're going to clear these ones so we now have a space a cube that is three blocks by three blocks by three blocks and replace any dirt with stone so what we're going to do next is place a lantern in the middle of this space in the roof now while this was the back left corner when we go down we're going to turn around and it's going to become the back right corner and that's just because of how we're facing. From now on we will work from the tower end towards the chancel end. So standing in this back right corner with our back to the ladder we're going to dig out the remaining eight pieces of the floor because we're now working on our stairs down. Turn to your left, drop down and place stone brick stairs. Now standing in our back left corner we're going to dig out the remaining six. Drop down one, turn to your right and dig out the remaining five. Now drop down, face back, stone brick stair and on top of the block we were standing on, a stone brick slab so it allows us to get down more easily. Now standing on this bottom part of the stairs we've just made, we're going to dig out the next three. I'm going to drop down and dig out the next two, down again, stone brick slab, stone brick stair. We should now be 11 blocks from the floor of our tower above. So that's our stairs down. Next to dig out the actual crypt. So the three block width of our stairs, we're going to dig out to a height of five. And the one in the middle one more. And now we start by placing a chiselled stone brick in that one block more and upside down stone brick stairs either side. So we've got a little arch with a decorative block. Now we dig out one more either side to a height of four and place a chiselled stone brick top and bottom and stone brick walls in between. So that's the arch entry into the crypt done. So next we're going to start digging out the crypt itself. I'm going to do this in stages and I'm going to do it in a way that will be simple if you're on survival. So the next thing we're going to do is dig out a tunnel that is three blocks wide centered on the stairs and 19 blocks long. Now this first one we're going to make seven blocks high, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now that we've got our three by seven done, we're going to dig out a further 18 
that are three by six, remember to light as you go. Six, seven, eight. You may find it easier just to dig a long tunnel first. Nine, 10, and 17, 18. And that's two, three, four, five, six. Now that that's done, we're going to dig out one more, three wide, but five high. So one, two, three, four, five. That's the central part of the crypt done. Now we're going to start on shaping the vaulting and marking where our support pillars are. Start on either side because you're going to be doing exactly the same thing on the other one. We're going to start by digging out three columns in a row that are six blocks high. and then one that's five blocks high. So we end up with that. Now we're going to do that again and we're going to repeat that all the way down. We're going to stop one short of the end. So three lots of six and one lot of five. Keep going. Now when we get to the end, it's three lots of six again, but it's one lot of four. So like that. So we're going to do this here. There we go. That's the beginning of the vaulting. We're going to continue with the shaping. So next we come back to the beginning again and along this wall we're going to dig out five, then six, then five, Leave a gap of one and we'll do that again. And when we get to the end, it's just three columns of five. Right, back up to the front again. We're going to do the next row. I'm just going to keep going down in rows until we get this done. So this front alcove, we're going to dig out three rows to a height of five and two more rows to a height of five, leaving this corner as it is. And I think we'll put a torch in there for light. Let's get this one done the same. Now for the next three alcoves on each side, it's five and six and five and three rows of five along the back. There we go, like that. So you end up with a U shape in the ceiling. That's those three. Now for the one at the end, it's pretty much a mirror of the one at the front. So three columns of five, and then two columns of five, and leave the back corner intact. So now just repeat all that over here. Okay, come at the end here. We're going to take out one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. There we go. The last thing to do, the central block of all these walls between the alcoves, knock them out to a height of five. And that's it, that's the structure of the crypt done. Now if there's any bits of diorite or granite or iron or coal or whatever in the walls, take them out. Same with any that's in the floor on the side. Don't worry about here in the centre, we'll be doing a little bit more digging here later. But take them out and replace them with either andesite or ordinary stone. Now with the support pillars, you have a choice. You can leave them as they are, or you can make them more decorative. I like to make them more decorative. So to do that, we take out one, two, three, four pieces of the pillars, chiseled stone brick block, top and bottom, and two stone brick walls in between. I'm gonna do that with all of these. Now along the back wall, we're gonna do this column here and where we've dug out here I'm going to make this into another decorative column. 
there we are that's all our columns done now I have left this one here as plain stone because I want to just show you that it can work exactly the same way as all the others so now we can start work on the vaulted ceiling so at every column we're going to place one two and three stone brick stairs around it and if you've just left the columns of stone exactly the same way just place three stairs around it so we're going to do that all the way up and down the central area there we go and make sure you do the same thing right at the end as well at the stairs end we're just going to place one there opposite and one here opposite and now in between each of those going along place a stone brick block and right at the end here we should have dug this out to six so place one between there as well Right, so we're now going to work in this central part between the columns in the very middle place a chiseled stone brick block and on the four sides place a stone brick block or if you want to save a little bit you can do it with bottom half stone brick slabs it's going to look exactly the same in the long run just depends how fiddly you want to be and we'll do that again and again so now you've got these cross shapes running right the way down the center of your crypt we're going to place top half stone brick slabs in each of the corners so that the cross becomes a square and running down the center we're going to put a top half slab in between each of those squares we're leaving the arch at the tower end for a little while because it's a little bit different but again working down the center but next to each column you can either put stone bricks either side or bottom half stone brick slabs entirely up to you and make sure you put one right at the end as well and now coming back again we're going to put top half stone brick slabs in the gap in between and now coming back if there's bits of dirt in the gaps that are left or granite or diorite just replace them with ordinary stone or with andesite now that that's done your central vaulted area should look like this we're going to deal with each end we'll start with the chancel end first so next to the top of your decorative pillars a top half stone brick slab then upside down stairs and a chiseled stone brick a stone brick above that and top half stone brick slabs so now to finish the tower end arch we're going to put upside down stone brick stairs there and in this little gap here of three we're going to place one two and three so it ends up with a little curve like that Okay, this is the central vault of the crypt done we've just got to do the alcoves now so in between each of the pillars going right the way down you can either put a stone brick block or a bottom half stone brick slab we'll leave the end alcoves to last bottom half stone brick slabs or stone brick blocks and top half stone brick slabs and then either a stone brick block or a bottom half stone brick slab so we'll do that again bottom half top half bottom half or stone brick block so that's pretty easy you can just sort of build up a little rhythm as you go so come up to the tower end and to this little alcove here it's very simple bottom half stone brick slabs or stone brick and fill the two remaining gaps with top half stone brick slabs so we'll do that again there we go just the chancel end in the corners to do now so we do this the same way as the other end so bottom half stone brick slabs or full stone bricks to top half slabs and then we put a top half slab in between these two columns all that's left now is to place 
an altar or a stand for a relic. So we're at the chancel end. We go along one, two, three, and forward one. So you can see how this works with the decorative pillars and with the ordinary pillar. I am now going to replace that ordinary pillar with a decorative pillar. There we go. That's nice. One last bit of digging. We're going to dig out the central floor of the crypt. So from this arch, so not the arch but one forward, we're going to dig out this entire central part between the pillars and stop short at the last freestanding pillar. There we go. Now, level with each of the pillars, put a chiseled stone brick block and we're going to line the rest of it with stone brick stairs. So it looks like that. And now just fill in the floor in the middle with bottom half stone brick slabs. There we go. The last thing that remains is to light the crypt. You can hang lanterns on every one of these chiseled stone brick blocks if you want to. But the central floor is already spawn proofed. But what I would do is knock out the torches and put one in between each of the decorative columns at the side alcoves. I would also hang one from the centre of the arch just to make sure that this bottom part here is spawn proofed. And right at the chancel end, one in the middle there. And that's it. That's our crypt all done. Now, of course, you could argue that a church is not really complete until it's got a churchyard. This is pretty easy to do. I just got a spade and put in some path blocks and then use stone brick wall as markers. I also built a little crypt out of stone brick wall and smooth stone slabs. If you're going to do this and you want to really pay attention to medieval practices, make sure that the feet are at the east end and the head with the marker at the west end. But here is our church with our little crypt. There we are. Easy enough to do and you can easily adapt this to whatever size church you make. So there we have it, one finished Anglo-Saxon church with graveyard and hidden crypt beneath. There's end cards on the screen to some more of my tutorials. I'll see you next time. Bye!